Hey beauties, welcome back. It's been a few days since I uploaded. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know we were out of town last week. We spent a couple days in Pennsylvania, took a road trip down to Farmington, did some skiing. We desperately needed a change of scenery and it was so peaceful just what we needed. But when I returned, I had a lot of different packages, including a couple pieces that I had purchased right before I left and some PR. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. As always, make sure you watch until the very end for a special Valentine's Day giveaway that I know everybody is going to want to enter. I'm going to start with the pieces that I purchased myself. This first item recently came back in stock. I'm not sure if it will be available by the time I upload this video, but hopefully it will be available. If not, sign up for the waitlist because it's a new product. It's not completely sold out. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. I had no interest when I first heard about this product and as soon as I saw the first demonstration, I went to purchase, it was sold out so I signed up and so far every review I've seen has been a rave review about this brow wax. It just holds the brows in place instantly. It truly is a freeze for the hairs which is great because if you really like that fluffy brow, sometimes you go in with a clear brow gel, but after a couple hours, they kind of sink back down. So this is supposed to hold them so that if you want a little bit more volume, more fluff with your brows, they will truly hold all day long. I have not opened this or tried this yet. I'm so excited. I think it's one of those products that you might think, oh, I don't need that. I have plenty of brow products. What's one more thing to add to the routine? No, thank you. But as soon as you see it demonstrated, my jaw dropped and I thought, yes, I need that. You have to see it in action and then you realize you absolutely need this. I zoomed you in nice and tight so we can try this for the first time together. I did fill in my eyebrows, but I didn't go in with a brow setting gel or anything like that. The only spoolie I have is my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This one is almost gone. So I went ahead and I bent the end of the spoolie because this is how I've seen it demonstrated. You probably don't have to bend your spoolie, but I figure why not? This one is almost done anyways. I really don't know what I was thinking last night. I had unpacked all of the products that I took with me last week and I found my cuticle scissors in the drawer and I was just kind of thinking about this product and brushing up my brows and I decided to trim them. Well, I trimmed them a little bit too short, so I don't think I'm going to get the full effect with this product. I've maybe trimmed my eyebrows three times in my lifetime, so I have no clue what came over me in that moment, but snip snip. They're pretty short now. It's just completely clear. So this is how I've seen it demonstrated. <gasps> Ooh, it's thick. <gasps> oh no, it's working. Oh, talking right in the mic. I kind of like it. Wow, because it separates them all too, so you really get that microbladed effect. They look like they are stuck in place. Wow. And I don't think they are too short. I mean, I wish I hadn't trimmed them as much as I did. I think it's probably ideal to do this step first Go ahead and freeze the brow and then go back later on and fill them in. Since I already had product on my brows, it kind of looks a little bit funny. And once you go through the brow once, it's very difficult to go back because the wax is just too thick. But I love it. This brow freeze is incredible. Hopefully it is back in stock. I picked mine up. Actually, it was sold out at Sephora. I picked mine up directly from the Anastasia of Beverly Hills website because I just didn't want to wait, but then I did get the notification that it was back in stock at Sephora. I zoomed you back out. I just tried to fill in this brow a little bit where I needed to. It was a little bit tricky, not impossible, but not as easy as it would have been had I not had any wax, but it could be that I had product, layered the wax, and then I was trying to layer product on top. I have a lot of things going on my brows right now. But even still, I think they look really good. I'm not sure if it's better to do the brow wax and then fill them in or fill them in and then do the brow wax. I'll have to double check. I think you could probably play around with it and do whatever works best for you. 
Right now, I'm happy with them. This one I didn't have to touch at all. This one I just needed to fill in a little bit on the bottom where no hair actually exists. I just fill them in. So it's only going to work if you have brow hair. If you're somebody whose brows are so sparse, you really don't have a lot of hair and they're just pencil, this product probably isn't going to do much for you. But if you have really bushy brows and it, you find that they're hard to manage or hold them in place, this is perfect. The second item I purchased is from Guerlain. These are the Pearl Glow Meteorites, part of the spring collection. These are the meteorites that were pictured in the campaign promo that I said looked very different from my pink pearl meteorites. It's because there were two shades, I had no idea. These popped up at Saks. I know this entire collection has been nearly impossible to get a hold of. It kind of comes and goes. You see pieces and then they disappear really quickly. But I was able to locate these on the Saks website. They look a little bit crunched. <gasps> oh, but they are so beautiful. You have some lavender, some pink, this really beautiful champagne color, and then a true creamy pearl tone. The pearl glow, I think you can dust anywhere you want on the face. It just gives this really pretty glowy luminous finish. It's perfect for springtime. They're so beautiful. I was incredibly disappointed when I thought I couldn't get my hands on these. So as soon as I saw them pop up on the Saks website, I just added to cart and I checked out as quickly as possible. I will link the entire Guerlain Spring collection down in the description box if I can still find these pieces. There were the two lipsticks, two lipstick cases that are really pretty the two meteorites, and I believe that's it. And now we're getting into some PR, including this very generous box from the brand Say. I believe this is a new brand. If it's not new, it is definitely new to Sephora. So they sent over this incredible box. One of my favorite things is that when you open it up, it says, say hello to Sephora. The packaging materials that they use to help protect the products inside are little packets of cotton balls so they can be used. So many times when I receive PR boxes, there is so much packaging inside, it goes directly in the trash. So I love this idea of using cotton balls, which I use constantly. I'm flipping through the pamphlet here. There's a little note from the founder and CEO, and then it tells you a little bit about the brand. So it says, say hello to easy, elevated beauty. Our super clean, sustainable formulas are designed to be essential for your everyday. Quick, easy products infused with superhero ingredients. So everything has skincare, clean, sustainable, and it's an elevated brand. I want to start by opening these Dew Balms. This is the Bouncy Marshmallow Highlighter. This is the shade Say Lilac. Oh, it's pretty. It feels really thick, and I thought it would be more shimmery, but it's not really shimmery at all. I'm curious to see how the glowy super gel compares to that dew bomb because this is also meant to be a liquid illuminator or dewy illuminating fluid, excuse me. So this is the shade Sun Glow. Oh, wow. It has a really distinct scent to it. I wonder what's in it because it's a clean brand. So I'm guessing it's not fragrance, but maybe some sort of fruit flower extract. It smells very floral in a pretty way, but the scent is definitely there. Now, even this, it gave my hand a little color. It's not very shimmery or illuminating. It's so soft and subtle. I removed my lip and I picked up one of these lip glosses. This is the really great gloss in the shade Easy. It's this really pretty kind of pinky nude shade. Feels really smooth. The glosses do not have a nice scent. Maybe that doesn't bother you. Doesn't smell terrible, but it doesn't smell nice. I think this color is a little bit too sheer, so I'm gonna throw on my original lipstick and then I'll use this to top it. Over the lipstick, I think the gloss looks really pretty. It feels really nice, not sticky. 
I'm not a huge fan of this smell. Again, it's fragrance free. So if you love a clean brand, this is going to be right up your alley. It's just a little bit too industrial. It kind of smells a little bit like glue. It's throwing me off a little bit, but I love the feel. I love the look. Just something to keep in mind. I'm not going to open everything in the box, but I do have a few other products here. I have a lot going on with the brows, but I just want to take a look at this brow butter. This is a sculpting grooming brow pomade. This is the shade medium brown. I love that the spoolie is teeny tiny. That's going to help you coat every single brow hair. This looks really good. I'll absolutely give this a try. And then let's take a look at the sun visor. SPF 35 Sheer Moisturizer. It's getting to be that time of year when we're gonna be outside getting sun. It doesn't say it has a color to it, but it looks more like a tinted moisturizer. Barely, there's just a little hint of color. I think it's better, that way you don't get that really intense white cast all over your face as soon as you apply your, your sunscreen for the day. Ooh, now this smells kind of good. It almost has a peppermint smell. I like that. And it feels really nice. It doesn't feel sticky, tacky. There's no white cast. It's not powdery or anything like that. I love this. I have a few other products here. This is a liquid lip balm. In case you don't like lip gloss, you want a little bit more of a thick treatment on your lips. This is really pretty. And then we have mascara, which I have so many open mascaras, so I'm gonna wait on that. The last thing I wanna open is the slip tint. This is the SPF 35 Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, they sent over two shades, three and four. And it looks like three should work. No harsh smell, it feels really nice. It looks very lightweight. I think this color will probably work. I might even be able to mix the three and the four if I sunless tan right now. I think this number three would work really nicely. See, it kind of evens out the skin, hydrates, just gives a little bit of coverage, not much. Just what you want out of your tinted moisturizer. Feels really hydrating. And even looks pretty dewy on the hand. And that's something it said in the pamphlet is that these products are intended to give you a very minimal, easy, basic, but very dewy look overall. So I think all of the complexion products will be for enhanced dew. Next, I have a box here that was sent over complimentary from Kosas. They launched a brand new cloud set powder. They sent whoop, three shades. This very cute cloud packaging. So I have shade breezy, shade feathery, and comfy. They all sound really nice. Inside it says, clean, vegan, and talc-free, baked with liquid skincare to improve skin over time, shine control, not glow control. So it sounds like it will help with shine, but it's not going to leave you too matte, too dry and crusty looking, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a setting powder. I like the packaging. Let me open Breezy. I think this might be the lightest of the three powders. I like to set my face and my under eye with something really light. And I did see photos of some of the other shades. It looks like they have a very, very light, if not white setting powder. So if you like something really light, they probably have you covered. This is breezy. It's always a fine balance with powder. You want something to set your makeup, help it last all day. Of course, prevent shine and not look cakey, dry, dusty. So this seems to be really promising. I'm excited to test this out. I'll probably try this tomorrow with my normal makeup or at least the full face of makeup I have been wearing. That will be the true test because that way I'll be able to detect any differences between powders. I'm currently using a loose powder and generally in the mornings I always use a loose powder. Occasionally I take a compact out with me but I'm not really leaving the house much anyway so I haven't needed to touch up throughout the day so to speak. In the future, I think I will definitely use this maybe as a touch-up powder. I still have not played around with the rest of the Kosas product, so maybe this is a sign that it's time for me to do the full face of Kosas. I did kind of spot test that tinted oil. 
I'm on the fence about it. I think some of the other products will probably work better for me. The tinted face oil, I'm not really sure. I have another great box here that was sent over from Laura Mercier for Valentine's Day. I was so happy when I opened this up. They came out with four new shades of their blush. And this blush is one of my favorites. I have strawberry, I have peach. I might have another shade, but strawberry and peach are my favorite. So they came out with guava, watermelon, bellini, and passion fruit. All four of these blushes look beautiful so i will of course be showing you all of these shades they also sent over their cheek color brush it's a blush brush as well as two lip liners and two lipsticks to complete the valentine's day look now of course i'm late to the party because i'm just now opening this up they sent red velvet and macaroon lip liner the blush and rose gold accent lip gloss these are some of my favorite lip glosses. Opal is my favorite shade, but this looks really pretty. This looks very similar to Opal, maybe a little bit more peach. This is the shade Blush, kind of the perfect everyday lip, lip gloss. And then here is the Rose Gold Accent. It has shimmer to it, it's really beautiful. So this could really be a lip topper if you just wanted to dab a little bit right in the center of the lips, that would be really pretty. Let me open up these blushes. This is watermelon. This right here is passion fruit. This shade is very light. This is guava. And this really pretty peach is Bellini. And if you're disappointed in these shades because they are so light, I would recommend checking out the rest of the range because a lot of their blushes are very intense, very deep, very bold. They have a lot of darker colors already in line. So there might be something there that you absolutely love. In terms of blush and color payoff, that sort of thing, just the formula, I really love these. Laura Mercier did an incredible job. This is the Blush Color Infusion Blush. I believe they're maybe 30 bucks. Not bad and you get a ton of product. Here's a box that was sent over directly from Sephora for being part of the Sephora squad. They sent a little Valentine's Day gift, which is very sweet and thoughtful. So here's a little Valentine's Day card and some information on all of the products. This stands out to me right away. This is the Olaplex number no. six Bond Smoother. This is the leave-in reparative styling cream. I just did the Olaplex number no. three treatment right before I styled my hair last. I use this just about every single time I do my hair, but I don't know if I've ever tried this Bond Smoother. I'll have to integrate this the next time I style my hair. Swear by Olaplex, especially the number three. We also have a little roller ball of Giorgio Armani My Way. I love this fragrance. This launched last year. I have a full review on my channel. It's very beautiful. It's kind of the perfect daily wear spring scent. It's not overpowering, it's just very feminine and elegant. I really like this. We also have the Biasin Squalene and Rose Vegan Lip Balm. I always need a good lip treatment. In fact, from last week, my lips got so dry. They were fine while we were in Pennsylvania. It wasn't until we got back that they started cracking really terribly. I don't know what happened there. So I've been swearing by my Sarah Hap Lip Mask just slathering that on every chance I can get. It's the only thing that has saved my lips. I'm always looking for a good lip balm, so I'm excited to try that. Here we have the Milk Makeup Electric Glossy Lip Plumper. Ooh, I love anything that is plumping on the lips. I think it feels so nice. This is the shade Clear, Pumped. They also included the Merit Flush Balm Cream Cheek. This is the shade Raspberry Beret. Let's see. This is a new brand, or I think they're new to Sephora. I love cream cheek, so I'm excited. That looks very raspberry. I don't know if that's going to be too dark. If it goes on sheer, this will be perfect. I really like the tone, so I'm excited to try that. And then this. The Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. I don't know where I saw this. It might have been on the Sephora website. I don't think it was. Maybe it was. This Retinol Eye Stick looks so interesting. As soon as I saw it, I thought, wow, I wanna try that. It has encapsulated retinol and peptides. It looks like a lip balm. 
and you just roll it on your under eye. But it says use daily in the evening after cleansing your skin, swipe it, don't wipe on entire eye area. Sensitive skin begin using once a week to allow skin time to adjust to the retinol. I wonder how much retinol is in this stick. You could probably find out online. It has the encapsulated retinol power peptide complex, squalene and astaxanthin, which is a powerful antioxidant, 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C. You, I'm excited. The under eye area is where I struggle the most. I'm so self-conscious about all of those little lines. Now, I do think this will probably dry out the under eyes. Maybe not because it has the squalene. Generally, retinol is very drying on the skin, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Yes, it's going to help remove that top layer of skin and diminish the appearance of fine lines, but it can also leave you irritated but flaky. So you have to make sure you go in and use a really thick moisturizer. I don't know if this is going to cause dryness under the eye. So maybe use this in the evenings, but a really heavy eye cream on top or really heavy eye cream in the morning. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to test this out. I was so excited as soon as I saw that this was coming in the box. Brands seem to be on a bit of a blush kick at the moment, which I am not complaining. I love blush. I saw a couple sneak peeks on the Pat McGrath Labs Instagram page, I believe, and people are suspecting that maybe she's coming out with blush soon, which would be incredible. But I also received a box here from Tower 28, which included three new cream blushes. I've said it a million times, I love a cream cheek. So this is this very pretty, kind of intense peach color. This is the Beach Please Rush Hour blush. Here I have Beach Please After Hours. This looks like a very intense kind of cherry color. And then here we have Beach Please Power Hour. This is an, almost a terracotta brown. Hopefully I don't mess everything up. Ooh. Ooh, that was the peach. Rush Hour. I love this and it looks so natural. It doesn't look like I'm caking even more product on my face. I'll have to check online to see if they have more shades. It looks like the peach is best for spring. These might be a little bit too dark for me right now, but certainly something I would revisit fall winter later on this year. I have one hair care delivery here from IGK and I am so excited about this. I actually get my hair done at the IGK salon in Miami. They have a salon in New York, Miami, and LA. It's the best salon in Miami. Their products are incredible. I always love my hair whenever I'm done. But they sent over three of their styling products. I am constantly experimenting with new styling products to try to get it right. So here we have Good Behavior. This is the Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. I just purchased something. The last time I was there, I picked up a dry mask. Looks amazing, so I'm excited to try this. Here we have the Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Blowout Balm. I'll try this the next time I do my hair, and you'll notice I'm straight. I received so many compliments the last time I styled my hair straight, so I decided to just give myself a plain blowout, not go in with the wand, I like it. While I'm doing the blowouts and keeping it straight, this blowout bomb will definitely come in handy. And then let's see. Oof. The last product I have here is the Good Behavior 4-in-1 Prep Spray. It's a detangler, 24 hours frizz control, and heat protector, and it gives shine. All in one product. That's pretty incredible. I think that's half of the reason why I have so many styling products is because they all do something different. Some products protect against heat, some will smooth, then later once it's styled I go in with my shine product, but this looks like it does it all. I had one fragrance delivery while I was gone. Parfum de Marly launched another product as part of their Delina line, so they sent it over which was very kind and generous. Their packaging is always so beautiful. So here is the Delina 
shower gel to go with the body cream, hand cream, hair mist, and of course the fragrance. I'll go ahead and open it. I saw this is already available on their website as well as Nordstrom. And I imagine a few other places are going to start carrying this. Ooh. Oh, wow. Mmm. No surprises, it smells exactly like Delina. Exactly how I thought it would smell, but you never know. Sometimes with ancillaries, they don't smell quite like the original fragrance. They're either a little bit lighter or you can tell that a different note is heightened. It's just not the same as the original. This smells like the original Delina. Perfectly. In shower gel form. Ooh, I'm excited. I bet you could probably add a little bit to a bubble bath. You want something really luxurious? That sounds really nice. I might have saved the best for last, maybe. Everything has been really good so far, but this was a very exciting package to receive because it was sent over from La Mer. Look how beautiful they sent over a Valentine. It says, love is in the air with La Mer. And when you open it up, whoop, the sides of the heart fold down Inside, you get three of their top-selling products. Here I have the lip gloss, the volumizing plumper, so beautiful. There's a moisturizing cream, it looks like the original formula, and then a mini renewal oil right here. So three top sellers in this beautiful Valentine. I am so excited about all of these. I've used the cream before. I really like the gel cream, but the original Creme de la Mer is amazing. I don't know if I've ever tried the Renewal Oil. Certainly not over an extended period of time. I'm sure I've maybe felt it on my hand, maybe dabbed it around my eyes, but that's it. And I have not tried this plumping lip gloss either. This is the Lip Volumizer. It looks so beautiful. I cannot wait to test that out. Three incredible products from La Mer, and the best part is they were so kind and generous. Ooh, they sent over two. One for me and one for one of you guys. That's right, this is the giveaway. They sent me one to give out as my Valentine for Valentine's Day. So one lucky subscriber is going to win their very own Valentine from La Mer. All you have to do to enter is subscribe with notifications on Follow me on Instagram at Erin Nicole TV. Like and comment on this video. Include your Instagram handle. Don't forget because that's how I will contact the winner. The giveaway will remain open for one week. It closes on March 1st and then I will announce the winner on Instagram on March 2nd. Sending one Valentine was very generous, but to send two is pretty incredible. So a huge thank you to La Mer for being so kind this Valentine's Day. You certainly made my day and I know they are going to make the day of one of you guys. Somebody has to win. So I hope you will all take advantage, enter the giveaway. Good luck to everybody who enters. And that completes today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face will be down below in the description box that's there for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.